Despite the apparent complexity of this sentence, the splits are relatively simple. There are just three splits here. A phenomena versus is a phenomena, in which versus where, and combined versus are combining. So we're going to compare those three splits. So with the first one, notice that if we just say a phenomena, we have El Nino, and then a, a clause that describes it, and then a phenomena in which, and then the whole rest of the sentence modifies the word a phenomena. So the core of the sentence is El Nino, a phenomenon, but there's no verb. So without putting a verb there, there's no verb for the whole sentence. So A, B, and C all produce sentence fragments. That is to say, they produce sentences that lack a main verb. So those are incorrect. Whereas we put the is in there, El Nino is a phenomena. Well, that by itself is a core sentence with a noun and a verb. That works. So we need the is there. That's split number one. Split number two, phenomenon. Phenomena is an event, but it's not a physical location. The word where on the GMAT must refer to a physical location. So phenomena where is incorrect. Phenomena in which is correct. And finally, combine or combining. Combine is simple present tense, so this describes a, a phenomena that happens, El Nino happens, and so these, these factors combine. But combine, our combining is what's called present progressive, and it means that we're emphasizing the fact that right as we're speaking, it's happening. And of course, depending on what time of year and what season you might be reading this sentence, it's not at all clear that the El Nino will be happening right at this moment. And it's not really important that it's happening right at this moment. So the, the actual event of it happening is not important to the meaning of the sentence. So our combining is incorrect. Combine is correct. Now notice with all this, we have eliminated everything except answer choice D, which has correctly the verb is, in which combine D is by far the best answer choice.